Hey guys and welcome back once again to I Like Watches. Now I'm assuming because you're watching this video like me, you enjoy mechanical automatic watches because those are the watches that feature most regularly on this channel. And I also suspect like me every now and then you've got to pick up one of your favorite mechanical watches and it's run out of power. So you've got to wind it up, adjust the date, adjust the time, and then you can start enjoying it. And as long as you're wearing it, you can enjoy fairly accurate timekeeping. But if you take it off and leave it a couple of days, then, well, it's going to run out of power again, isn't it? What a pain. But what if there was a way you could keep that accuracy going? You could keep the watch going, but still enjoy that sort of mechanical experience. No quartz crystal. Well, believe it or not, there is. And they've been around for a long time. And weirdly, people stopped making them in the 70s. They just vanished. They were only made for a very few number of years. They are called electronic balance watches. They have a battery inside them that powers the balance wheel. Basically, it's a mechanical watch, but instead of having a weighted rotor that winds up a mainspring, you just put a battery in it. And for two or three years, you can enjoy constant, accurate, well, accurate-ish timekeeping. Um, and I've received one today. It's called the Citizen Cosmotron. I've bought this from Andy Windle, who runs the vintage Japanese watch company. I've also got a Seiko Elnix. I am going to produce a full review of my Elnix very, very soon, because that is an incredible watch. And Andy really, really rates those. He rates these as well. They're perhaps not quite as durable as the Seiko's. But in this video, I just want to unbox this Citizen Cosmotron and share with you my first impressions and, um, yeah, give you potentially your first look at an electronic balance watch. Now, these represent, as far as I'm concerned, incredible value. Some of these watches, well, pretty much all of them, will be at least 40 years old because I think they disappeared from shelves in 1977 and for some reason they just didn't take off and manufacturers focused on quartz watches and of course we know there's been a revival recently of automatic mechanical watches but yeah electronic balance watches just vanished what a shame anyway you can pick them up incredibly cheaply for sort of aliexpress money and they're very durable hard wearing and on the whole reliable watches and as long as you pick them up from somewhere quite reputable like the vintage japanese watch company run by andy um you should have a very pleasant experience anyway i think that's all i need to say for the intro i think you want to see this watch don't you and i know i do so um yeah let's take a look right here it is let's get into this box and take a look at this citizen uh, cosmotron now they did make other models that worked in the same way um, seiko also made other models over and above the uh, seiko elnix um, but andy was telling me that the cosmotron and the elnix and the el370 which was an earlier seiko electronic balance watch are probably the ones um, to look at, um, the most reliable, um, but also with them being later models, um, they've got the more interesting dials, um, faceted crystals. They basically just look a bit more funky and retro and have that um, you know, more interesting 70s styling. Now there is a battery, of course, the downside to uh, electronic balance watches is um, you do need to change the batteries and my Seiko Elnix ran out. <laughs> so Andy has very kindly thrown in a battery um, so that when I review my Seiko Elnix, it's working because of course, you know, we want it to be working, don't we? Right, uh, here we go. Now this is a new old stock watch, uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean it comes with um, all of the box and papers and all that sort of stuff, right? Let me just change the angle of the camera now the box is out of the way. Original bracelet, um, basically original watch. Um, yeah, pretty much unused. Um, just got a little bit of um, wear and tear from being handled, I guess, um, on occasions over the last 40, well, uh, 50 years. Uh, no, is it 50 years? No, almost 48 years or so. And look at that shell. I mean, that looks to be in pretty good condition. Let's open it up. I mean, that is... That mechanism feels really stiff. Nice bracelet, fully brushed. Obviously lots of jangle. Um, it's that style of bracelet, isn't it? It's just sort of a very loose, jangly bracelet. Man, look at that dial. 
and the crystal as well that's pretty cool i love the way the color of the dial sort of comes through the crystal at this sort of tight angle just those colors look at that dial and the finishing on the case seems pretty good obviously a few little marks right um let's just have a little play with the movement obviously it's working because um there is a battery inside and that is of course the beauty of these watches now this runs this mechanical movement beats at 36,000 beats per hour but the hand ticks five times a second so because there's not a huge amount of torque in these movements um, they actually basically gear down the movement so the hand beats five times a second now the good thing about that is it actually helps to protect the movement now the low torque in these vintage watches is the reason why so many of them are still working modern mechanical watches have a very powerful main spring that puts a lot of torque through the movements that's why they can actually make mechanical modern watches beat at 36,000 beats per hour and tick 10 times a second. But that does put a lot of wear and tear on the movements. That's why they need to be serviced um, fairly regularly compared to these watches. Um, yeah, these watches and the old mechanical quartz watches, um, very, very low torque. So no stress and strain on the movements. Um, so it should be fairly accurate. I'll put it on the time grapher shortly. Um, right, so we've got um, the crown at the well, four o'clock position. Let's just um, pull it out to the first position and it's hacking look and we can move the hands. It looks like there's only one position on the crown. I wasn't sure if you could actually adjust the day and the date. I, I, want, I still want to be gentle with these watches because obviously it's almost 50 years old this. Um, now, what you can do is if you hold the watch upright, you can push in the crown and then the um, date advances look. See that? 11. But what about the day, I hear you ask? Well, this watch has quite a cool little function. You turn it upside down and then you press the crown again and that does the day. So when it's the right way up, you can advance the date by pressing the crown and when it's the wrong way up you do the day <laughs> right let's have a look at this case back it looks a bit discolored actually right there it is um yeah there is a little bit of discoloration on it i'm not entirely sure what that is i'll ask andy about that I am thrilled to bits with this one. I've seen quite a few um, NOS, NOS, new old stock watches that Andy has. And um, some of them are in better condition than others. Because even though um, they may not have been worn, they still have their um, hang tags on them, etc. Um, they obviously get handled by many, many people over the years. And so they generally come with some wear and tear on them. Um, but this is one of the best examples I've ever seen. And it's basically the reason why, as soon as I saw it on his website, um, I gave him a call and said I'd really like to pick up that watch. And I am thrilled to bits with it. Now, you will pay quite a bit extra for a watch in this condition. Um, he's got this on his site for 385 Now, he does tend to offer discount codes, 10% off. If you are interested in any of his watches, um, feel free to email him, give him a call. Um, I'm sure he'll do what he can to help you guys. Um, but yeah, you can pick these up for as little as £175 on his website. Obviously, they'll show more signs of wear and tear than this one. But they will still work and they'll still be um, mechanically sound. And um, yeah, he offers a warranty and all that sort of stuff. So um, you can at least buy um, vintage watches from places like the Vintage Japanese Watch Company um, with some peace of mind. Right, guys, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask me, uh, oldmantimegary at gmail.com or um, add a comment in the comment section. Um, but don't be afraid to get in touch with Andy. I suspect after this video, um, these will sell pretty quickly. Um, that's basically what happened when I posted some content on the Seiko QR he had around 20 of them in stock. They sold out very, very quickly. And now when they arrive, they pretty much sell immediately. Sadly, I don't earn any commission. I don't have an affiliate scheme or anything like that. Um, I just get to enjoy 
um, the odd watch like this, he does obviously give me a bit of a discount, um, you know, for buying the watches and then showing them on my channel. Um, but yeah, I wish him all the best because he is a lovely, lovely man and um, he's incredibly helpful. Um, yeah, so uh, if you're interested in any of his watches, get in touch with them, guys. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'm going to go and um, give my Seiko Elnix a bit of a polish and start to prepare the full review of that particular watch. Take care, guys. Look after yourselves. You'll see me again very, very soon. Just look at that thing. Absolutely amazing.